Hi friends. Now today we are going to learn about another one optical important phenomenon that is called the refraction of light. In the previous class we learned about the reflection of light. That is the bouncing back of light. That is the bending of light in the same medium. Now today we are going to learn about the refraction of light where the light ray bends in the second medium while coming from the first medium. That is called the refraction of light. When the light ray coming from one medium passes through the another medium, if the light ray bends, the path of the light ray changes, then this is called the refraction of light in general for obliquely incidence of the light ray. But what happens in case of the normal incidence of light ray? If the light ray incidence along the normal at the point of incidence, then the path of the light ray remains undeviated. But also this is considered to be as the refraction of light. So, how can you explain this? Very simple, the refraction of light. Refraction of light. This is an important optical phenomenon. Very simple and very easy to understand the refraction of light. In case of the reflection of light, in case of reflection, the light bends in the fast medium while coming from the one medium and goes back that is the bouncing back here in case of the refraction of light let us consider the two medium that this is the medium a and this is the medium b now the light ray coming from the medium a incidence on the separating layer that is a ab and the path of the light ray was this if the light ray bends either towards the normal if we consider this is p O is the incident ray, O n is the normal drawn at the point of incidence and O q is the refracted light ray, it may bend towards the normal or in another one ray diagram, this is considered another one ray diagram, let the light ray coming from the medium B, this is the light ray coming from the medium B, so this will be the actual path of the light ray that is P O is the incident light ray, this is the normal, this is the normal. So, the light ray moves away from the normal. Now, the light ray moves away from the normal along OQ. So, here also the light ray bends. But why this happen? Why this happen? In case of the speed of light, if we consider the speed of light in the vacuum or in the air medium, that is C equal, the speed of light, this is C equal 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. In vacuum or in the clean air, but in case of the light, when enter into the another medium like the glass, like the water, then the speed of the light changes. When the speed of the light changes, the light follows this path to reach its densiness, destination in a shortest way, in a shortest way. If we consider this is the rectangular slab, glass slab, when the light ray falls on it, then the light ray bends towards the normal. At the point of incidence, here this will be the actual path of the light ray. But the light ray bends towards the normal. This is because the velocity of the light is reduced in the glass. This is the air medium. It enters into the glass medium. The speed of the light, the velocity of the light is reduced. As a result, the light bends towards the normal. That means it tries to reach the destination by following the least path. That is one important property of the light, the least time property or the least path property of the light. So always light try to follow the least path or the least time. And here also the light ray when moves from the glass to the air, it moves away from the normal. That means the bending of light occurs. This is called the refraction of light. In two cases, in the figure one, in figure one, here you see that the refraction occurs, the bending of light occurs in the, this is the bending of light in second medium. Bending of light in the second medium, while coming from the first medium. This is called the refraction of light and 
here this bending occurs due to the change of the speed of the light in the second medium if the path of the light remain same if the speed of the light remains same the path remains unaltered this is this happen only for oblique incidence of the light ray but what happen in case of the light ray for normal incidence if the light ray incidence normally if the light ray incidence normally later we will discuss this the path of the light ray remains unaltered the path of the light ray remains unaltered if the light ray incidence along the normal of it also this may consider as a refraction of light but there are some limitations there are some limitations okay this is the refraction of light in figure 1 here the figure 1 the light ray the a medium and b medium here b is the denser medium b is the denser medium optically denser medium a is the rarer medium a is the rarer medium that's why light moves away from the normal this is the actual path of the light ray here in case of the this that is the rarer medium a is the rarer medium and b is the denser medium so in case of the refraction of light from the rarer to denser medium the light ray moves towards the normal so this is the angle of incidence i this is the angle of reflection r in case of the refraction of light from rarer to denser medium the angle of incidence is greater than the angle of refraction angle of incidence is greater than the angle of refraction here in case of the refraction of light from the denser to rarer medium d to r alphabetically d to r here the i less than r d to r alphabetically when we goes from a to z d to r that means light ray moves away from the normal distance increases that's why the angle of deviation angle of refraction increases that is the angle of refraction that is angle of refraction and this is the angle of incidence here also this is and when rarer to denser medium that means the distance decreases r to d that's why the angle of refraction is less the angle of incidence is more so this, these are the two ray diagrams frequently asked in WBB AC West Bengal Board of Secondary Education also in case of the CBSC and ICSC exam these are very two important ray diagram and these are the also the refraction of light ray through the glass lab that is figure number that is figure number three this is also an important ray diagram there are some laws related to the refraction of light laws of reflection of light laws of refraction of light in case of laws of refraction of light it is very similar the first law is very similar to the laws of reflection of light the incident light ray the refracted light ray and the normal drawn at the point of incidence that is the po po is the incident light ray the OQ is the refracted light ray and ON is the normal. Let us ON is the normal. At the point of incidence at O lie on a same plane. Lie on same plane. Same plane. And the second law very important for the board exam. Very important for board exam. The second law states that for a particular pair of optical medium and a particular color of light the sign of angle of incidence the sign of angle of incidence bears a constant ratio with the sign of angle of refraction bears a constant ratio that means the sin i by sin r this is equal constant this is equal constant but only for a pair of optical medium and a particular color of light only for a pair of optical medium and particular color of light this constant is called the refractive index this constant is called refractive index this is called refractive index also denoted by only simply 
we write this as R i refractive index. This is also known as Snell's law. This is also known as Snell's law. The second law of refraction of light is also known as Snell's law. Very frequently asked question in WBB, AC and other board also. Okay, this is the basic concept of the refraction of light. I think it is very helpful for all of you, my dear students. Okay.